In this video, we are going to discuss the test signals in transient analysis. So, we discussed that we are having two types of analysis that is transient analysis, second one is steady state analysis. When you are doing transient analysis, you need to know about the test signals, these are the best test signals you are having. So, in the topic of signals and systems also we discussed that impulse and step are the very best test signals to test any system. Here we are adding two more signals that is ramp signal and parabolic signal as test signals. The characteristics of this test signals is they undergo sudden shock, sudden change and they are having a constant velocity and constant acceleration. These are the characteristics of this test test signals, sudden change and sudden shock and uh, um, you are having constant velocity and constant acceleration, these four are the characteristics of this test signals. Coming to this signals, we are having impulse, step signal, ramp signal and parabolic signals. So, we know the definitions in the topic of signals and systems, we know clear definitions of each and every signal. So, but here also I want to give the same definitions. So, here coming to impulse signal, this is always represented with del of t. Del of t is always is equivalent to 1 when t is equivalent to 0, 0 when t is not is equivalent to 0. So, del of t is nothing but a impulse at t is equivalent to 0. So, this impulse with amplitude 1. So, this is del of t and this is with respect to t and coming to step signal. So, sometimes we will call it as unit step signal whenever amplitude is equivalent to unity, but here I am calling this as just a step signal. When I call it as just a step signal, we need to consider a amplitude or any voltage. So, that means, so here I am going to represent with u of t, this step signal I am going to represent with u of t u of t is equal into some amplitude a when t greater than or equal to 0 and 0 when t less than 0. So, this is the definition for step signal. So, when we will call it as this step signal as unit step signal means whenever amplitude is equal into 1, when a is equal into 1 this is called as unit step signal. So, the diagrammatic representation of this unit step signal will be like this. So, this is u of t and here the amplitude is a. So, if it is a unit step signal, the value of a is equal to 1. So, with respect to time, 0 to 0 or greater than, it will give an amplitude. But if you consider below 0, so you are not going to get anything. That means the value or amplitude or voltage below 0 is equal to 0 for unit step signal. So, now here we are having the ramp signal. So, always we will represent with R of t. R of t, the definition of R of t is equal to some a t when t greater than or equal to 0, 0 when t less than 0. This is the definition for ramp signal. So, the structure of image of ramp signal will be like this. So, when t greater than or equal to 0, you are having signal like this linear increasing signal like this. So, when we will say this is a unit ramp means whenever your value of a is equal to 1 that is called as unit ramp signal. So, the definition also going to change like R of t is equal to t when t greater than or equal to 0. If the amplitude of that ramp is equal to unity then you can say R of t is equal to t. If your ramp is having some amplitude, then you need to consider the definition like this. So, now here coming to parabolic signal, I am just representing this parabolic signal like x of t and here the definition of x of t is equal to a t square by 2. If, if your parabola is having some amplitude, then this is equal to a t square by 2 when t greater than or equal to 0 and 0 when t less than 0. This is the definition for your test signal parabola. When you can say this is unit parabolic signal means whenever a is equal to 1 then your parabolic signal is used to call it as unit parabolic signal. 
So, the shape of this parabola will be like this, the shape of parabola will be like this. So, this is 0 to t, so it will give us a t square by 2. So, if a is equivalent to 1, then you will get the definition as t square by 2 when t greater than or equivalent to 0. Generally, you will consider unit parabola. So, here this is unit parabolic signal x of t. Now, below 0, you will get 0, you are not having anything. So, now here, how you will get this shape means, how you will get each and every shape means, you just take the values of t and you just substitute that t value here, you will get some points. You just take a graph paper, you just take the values of t and you just apply in this definitions and you just mark in y axis with respect to x axis. So, you will get this same shape. So, now these are the definitions of our test signals. So, coming to the relations between this uh, test signals, the relations between the test signals. So, before relations, I want to consider the S domain. These are the time domain relations. This is time domain. So, if you want S domain, so that means transform of this signals. So, here the impulse function del of t transform, you know that the transform, any transform, either that is Fourier transform or Laplace transform or jet transform of unit impulse function is equivalent to 1. So, in S domain, the transform is equivalent to 1. Coming to step signal u of t. So, u of t is equivalent to a. So, for this, for this, the for u of t, the Laplace transform is equivalent to 1 by s or a by s. If you are having a here, you need to consider a by s. If a is equivalent to 1, you need to consider 1 by s. This is for unit step. This is for unit step transform. This is for step function transform. If you are having amplitude, the in s domain also you will get that amplitude. Similarly, for ramp signal, so, for ramp signal, so the transform is 1 a by s square, if that is simple ramp, if that is a unit ramp, the transform is 1 by s square. Coming to ramp par, uh, parabolic signal, so the transform of parabolic signal is equivalent to a by s cube, a by s cube, if you are having unit parabola, then the transform is 1 by s cube. These are the frequency domain values for this test signals. Coming to the relations, so what is the relation between relations between this test signals? If you see impulse is nothing but 1. So, if you consider integral 1, then you are going to get u of t integral del of t. So, integral del of t is always equivalent to u of t. Integral u of t is equivalent to r of t. That means, integral of 1 you are going to get t. Integral of a you are going to get a t. So, like that integral r of t is equivalent to parabolic function we represented with x of t. So, I am going to consider like this. By this equations, if you want del of t, then you need to take d by dt of u of t. d by dt of u of t is equivalent to del of t. d by dt of r of t is equivalent to u of t. By this equation, I am just sending this integration to that side. And like that d by dt of parabolic signal x of t is equivalent to r of t. Or if you want to write, if you want to write del of t in terms of r of t. If you want to write del of t in terms of r of t means you know that by these relations you can write any test signal in terms of any other test signal. So, I want to write del of t in terms of r of t. I am considering this del of t is equivalent to d by dt of u of t. But we know that u of t in terms of r of t. 
So I am replacing that d by dt into in terms of u of t here in place of u of t I am replacing this d by dt of r of t. So d square by dt square r of t will be the relation between del of t in terms of r of t. Like this by using these two sets we can relate any test signal with any other test signal. So, this is about test signals in transient analysis. So, we are having impulse step and a ramp signal and parabolic signal. So, these are the S domain representation of that test signals and coming to the relations these, these are the relations between test signals.